Hey guys, Chris Fix here. Today I'm going to show you how to check at what temperature your coolant is good for. So it's getting really cold here. We just had our first snow. It got below zero last night. You want to make sure you have the correct amount of coolant to water so that your engine block doesn't freeze and you don't create problems from the expansion of frozen water and you'll get leaks and then you could end up ruining your engine. So I have a little tool here. It's pretty good. It's five to ten dollars and what it does is you suck in the coolant and you can see those balls in there. They float to a certain temperature on here. So you have 20 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 10 Fahrenheit, and so on. And remember, 32 Fahrenheit is freezing. Depending on where you live, I live over in the Northeast, you're gonna wanna be at negative 25 degrees. Because, I mean, you can't get those days when it gets down to zero, and you wanna have a good 10, 15 degree buffer, because if you get one of those cold days and you end up freezing your engine block, you're in trouble. So I'm gonna show you how this works right now. So I'm going to do a quick demonstration to show you what pure antifreeze, 50-50 antifreeze water, quarter antifreeze, the rest water, and pure water looks like when you're using this tool. Right now these are in pure concentrations. I'm going to add water to the 50-50. Good. And now I'm going to add water to the quarter antifreeze. So we have pure water, quarter antifreeze, 50-50, pure antifreeze. I'm going to do pure antifreeze first. As you can see, all of the balls are floating, which means it's negative 40 or even less than negative 40, so maybe negative 60. If you look at the container of antifreeze, I'm using Dexcool antifreeze. This is what I use for the Corvette. This antifreeze should go down to negative 84 degrees Fahrenheit if it's 70% antifreeze, 30% water. So this is pure antifreeze, and it shows that it is at least negative 40. All the balls are floating. So the next one we're going to do is 50-50. So for 50-50, you have two floating, and that's it. So that means that it is 5 degrees Fahrenheit. Now we're going to do quarter antifreeze. You can see there's one ball floating, which means it'll protect to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, which is still below freezing. And now we'll do pure water. Pure water is... 32 degrees Fahrenheit for freezing. None of the balls are floating. Now we're going to go check my car's antifreeze to make sure that it's good for the winter. So I showed you the water and coolant test and the percentages and you got a good idea from that. Now I'm going to show you what it's like in a real engine. So here's how you do this. You just find your radiator cap or your coolant overflow. So here's the radiator cap. This goes into the radiator. Or you could check your coolant overflow, which is in here. You could get from either source, it's all the same. And what you do is you put your tool in here, you squeeze, and you suction up. And you can see, when you look, it's got two balls floating. So two means it's at five degrees Fahrenheit, which is good for right now, but I'm gonna add a little bit more coolant. So now antifreeze is important because it protects your engine from both overheating, boiling over, but also from freezing, where it gets its name, antifreeze. The boiling point of water is 100 degrees Celsius, or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So just water itself will only protect in those ranges. It does cool better than antifreeze, so water cools the best. But it will boil over if your temperature of your engine goes over 212 degrees. In the Northeast, where I'm from, we use 50-50, so it protects when it gets really cold, and also protects when it gets warm. Hopefully this shows you why you need to mix the correct amount of antifreeze and water. Also, make sure you dispose of antifreeze correctly. You don't wanna just pour it down the drain. This tastes sweet, there's sugars in there, ethylene glycol, and so your, your cat or dog or whatever animal might drink it and it'll die because it's poison. So just be careful. If you find this video helpful, subscribe and click like. If you subscribe, you get updates on when I release new videos, and if you hit like, it helps me out. Up on the screen, I'm going to show you how to flush your coolant. Every about 100,000 miles, it's good to flush your coolant. Make sure you dispose of the coolant properly. The car that I'm going to show you in here had actually 100% water, so it was okay to run out on the street. But if your car has any coolant in there, any percentage of coolant, you want to make sure that you put it in a bucket the first time you flush it. And then after that, there will be barely any coolant in there, so it's okay to, to let it run into the street.